we think of fragrance in the lab, this is what we think of, biochemicals. And in this case, this is a representation of a class of biochemicals known as the benzenoids. In our case, we worked with the plant petunia, and petunia makes fragrance at night. And petunia fragrance is very much like a perfume. In this case, it's a mixture of chemicals such as methyl salicylate, which is wintergreen, phenyl ethanol, which is rose oil that smells very rich, things like methyl benzoate, which smells like root beer, other compounds such as isoeugenol, which is clove oil, and vanillin, which is very sweet smelling. All of these different chemicals are all different components of the petunia perfume. And these are also components of many other flowers that have fragrance as well. Phenyl ethanol, it just so happens, is the chief component in rose oil and it is the number one cosmetic additive in terms of uh, perfumes in the world. Just so happens too that phenethylamine, this is the addictive component in chocolate. This is a, this is a pathway that's shared by the chocolate plant as well. It's also the active ingredient in the street drug ecstasy. So that's why we think that people may be addicted to roses and to chocolate because really it's because it has the psychoactive compounds in, in common drugs. So these are all made through uh, basic amino acids such as phenylalanine and tyrosine and everywhere where there's a red arrow there's an enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of say something like phenethylamine to phenylacetaldehyde. And what we've been able to do is clone genes for all of the uh, different enzymes for each particular step in making all of these biochemicals. So ultimately we hope to be able to engineer the rose oil pathway into rose or other plants that we might want to make smell like roses. Uh, we can also uh, engineer things like wintergreen and clove oil so that we can make our own perfumes inside the plant.